Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike here and thanks for hanging out with me. Today is a very cool day. It is the first day of SeaWorld's Hallow Scream and I got an appropriate shirt for it. Pretty awesome. I'm digging it. And uh, so I'm about two hours early. It starts at seven. They open the gates at 6.30. Um, and I anticipate people will be lining up here in about 30 minutes at about six o'clock. So there is a media event going on right now. Um, unfortunately, I'm not big enough to be invited yet. But with that being said, we're gonna go to actual SeaWorld and see if there is a place you can kind of hang out until the event starts. How O Scream starts. We're gonna check that out, try to go, you know, kind of the back way in, cause I'm assuming as it gets closer to October, uh, Halloween, it's gonna keep getting busier and busier. So maybe I can find a way to help you guys if you're coming to avoid the long line having to show up 30 minutes early. So without further ado, uh, making our way into SeaWorld and we're gonna check it out. So let's go. So these are the crowds here on a, a hollow a hollow stream night not really anybody here the park closes at eight and so i think um you get a land you can get a wristband you go over by the waterfront get a wristband then you can hang out they have a holding area if you're in the parks and you're going to see where uh, hollow scream so if you have a if you have a disability pass um you have to ask for the hollow scream one and they give you the hollow scream disability pass for the entire length of hollow scream so just an fyi you need to you need to go to guest services and ask for it we're gonna go get our uh, wristband and go to the holding area let's see if we can find it so if you're wondering where to get the wristbands if you're already in the park it's at the guest services area across from artesians hall where they sell the lanyards for um, beer, barbecue, and bands, or beer, bands, and barbecue, or, or any other time they have a food thing here. That's good. Appreciate it. Thank you. So I got my band. I guess I forgot to ask where we stay at, where we stage. So there's the Longshore Tavern that is the drinks they're gonna offer. Hopefully you can see them. So once you get your wristband, the holding area is actually the Flamecraft Bar area. And so they say you need to be here by seven. So if you're not here at seven, they'll actually make you walk all the way around and come in the actual entrance to Hallow Scream. So it saves time. And it looks like they're actually like, not necessarily pushing people out, but it looks like everybody's leaving the place. So. I know the park's open until eight, or it says it is on the website, but Hollow Scream starts at seven, so I don't know how that works out. Um, but just to let you know, like you can be in SeaWorld early, go get your wristband, and you don't have to leave the park, you just hang out at the Flamecraft Bar and Grill. And this is the crowd at about six o'clock. So during Hallow Stream, they're going to have four specialty bars. The Longshoresman Tavern, which is the Flamecraft, the Flamecraft Bar and Grill. And then they're going to have Space Gate 3, which is up by the Waterway Grill. And then they have Sacrificial Spirits, which is as you're coming in to Hallow Scream. Carnival Curiosities, which is on the other side of Pipeline. And then they're gonna have other places open, like Waterway Grill, Dockside Pizza, the Pretzel Kitchen. They're all gonna be open. Altitude Burger. So they're gonna have places to eat, but there are those four specialty bars. And there are five haunted houses and seven scare zones. So my plan tonight is, you know, I'll do the typical video, like you guys hanging out with me, but I'm also going to do the scare zones as their own video, hopefully. And then the haunted houses, I plan on doing each haunted house video when I go through it. So making each one of those haunted houses its own video, uh, just so you can see those if you're curious of what they are. 
And they're gonna have Mako open, Infinity Falls, Icebreaker, and Pipeline are gonna be the rides that are open. And then they're gonna have a show called Monster Stomp. Oh, there's Tormented. Tormented's another bar that I think I missed. So there's five specialty bars. So Tormented, Space Gate 3, Longshoreman Tavern, Carnival, uh, Curiosities, and Sacrificial Spirits. The bartenders arrived to a thunderous applause. They're doing a wristband check. All right, so I just wanted to let you guys know, like, if you are coming just to SeaWorld on a hollow scream day, they actually close the side of the park that does hollow scream. It's six o'clock. You can see it's empty. Hollow scream is actually, um, doesn't actually start till seven, but this side of the park is empty and it's the side where they got uh, Pipeline and Mako and Icebreaker. So if you're coming to visit SeaWorld on a hollow scream day, make sure you hit these rides first because they will close it early, even though the park is open till eight. So I just saw that they have a punch card. And so for an eight punch sample lanyard, it's $85. And then a six punch sample lanyard is $70. When it stops raining. It's a new you know water ride. Florida, right? mm -hmm. You know we're in Florida, right? I do. Where are you from? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? Um, pretty much here. Pretty much? Yeah. Right here? Right here. Right here. Yeah, from right here. Longshoreman's right here. Tavern. Yeah. Hear it. I like what you've done with the place. Really? So they named Rose's Pumpkin a Blumpkin. Steve a Blumpkin. Steve the Blumpkin. Steve the Blumpkin. Taking your pre-ex off. Sorry, we were just excited about all this. Sorry, boss. Oh, all right. Who's that? Who was it? I don't know. They're the wet t-shirt cut. All right. Pushing the sticks together. This. He's like Charo. He's got like coochie, 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 coochie. Okay. That's right. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, what is it? Hot water. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, we have a long show, and as we always say, may your ship come in and all your cargo be light. Thanks so much, everybody. Have fun. All right. So here it is, seven o'clock. Officially, it started. It's still a little rainy. So it's 7.24 and they still haven't opened it. I think it's a delay because of the rain. All right, it's open. It's 7.33. Prepare for the scare. Awesome, thank you. Have fun, everyone. Oh, shots of courage. So remember that one last year? So shots of courage, you basically pay money and then you spin a wheel, and what? It, and they don't tell you what it lands on. So this is one of the scare zones. I will be back tonight when it's dark and scary. <laughs> <laughs> So it's not just the specialty bars that are open. They converted their food boost into specialty places again. And that's what that lanyard is, the, the eight samples and six samples that you can buy. So I'll say it's not really very scary at the moment because the sun, it's still a little bit of daylight out. The funniest joke though is like Rose has a pumpkin on her shoulder and one of the pirates said that, uh, don't be alarmed, but you're growing a barnacle on you. So this is one of the specialty bars during the event. Space Gate 3. All right, so as luck would have it, they don't have the one drink I want, the pumpkin ginger fizz. So we're just still gonna go try to go in the haunted houses while it's still hopefully early. And this is the one furthest back. They said it's open, so let's go. Fingers crossed we can get in. 
All right, so this is Farm 51. This is our first haunted house of the night. Rose, are you excited? I'm scared. <laughs> so Rose's gonna have to go first because I don't really like these. So I get kind of scared. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go first. And I'm gonna film it, so I will put up the separate video of this in a this well every house in a different video because I don't want to make this one too long. So I'll just do little snippets. But you can go ahead and search, you know, Farm 51, and it should show up, or you know, scroll through my channel, and you'll be able to see it. So I just did the first house. It was Farm 51. Uh, I would say they had to get some good jump scares. Basically, an alien came down and took over this person's farm or land. They landed, but the the theming was good. Uh, the decorations were good. Uh, like I said, a couple good jump scares. It's only my first house, so we'll see how the rest of it goes tonight. Where are you going? <laughs> Save me! So this is the terror in the deep scare zone. loud right there but that's one of my favorite scare zones the tear in the deep I like uh, like the, the captain and like the dead pirates I enjoy it all right so they have a show every night called the monster stomp it's at uh hold on it's at 8 9 30 and 11 and that's inside the Nautilus theater So the next scare zone we're going to come out on is Paradise Palms. So just in case you're wondering, it's 8.09 right now. I would come a little bit later to the park, to be honest. Wait till it gets a little bit darker. These weren't very scary at 7 o'clock. It's hard to tell who the actors are in this one and who are the people. Check it in. <laughs> Welcome to Paradise Falls. <laughs> All the rooms are vacant, waiting for you. <laughs> you can check in. Are oh, you my roommate? <laughs> well, I'll show you where the bodies are buried. <laughs> 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 it's your room. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to check out how long the line is at the Water's Edge Wellness Center uh, haunted house, haunted maze, I guess they call them. It's right past Farm 51, or it should be. All right, here we go, Water's Edge. This one was a walk-on. Seems like a nice little retreat.
like Water's Edge better. I feel like uh, it was just scarier, right? Because nobody likes Dockers, and it was just scarier. The jump scares were better. It was put together better. Decorations, theming, all that stuff. So, Water's Edge definitely a good one, and it's the furthest one back here, so there wasn't there wasn't a line. It was pretty much walk on. Number one for me so far. Out of the two, number one. There it is. Toxic turmoil. This is the scare zone. You touched it. It's too late. It's too late. Too late. So that is toxic turmoil. No, we're not out yet. No, you're not! No, you're not! No, 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 house contamination is really bad. Don't listen to that! Everything's fine! So this is one of the specialty bars, Tormented. She's missing her legs. So this is the Tormented Bar. Alright, so we, we got the Frost to try. Vodka, Blue Raspberry Lemonade. And I just got a pumpkin beer. So here is the Ultimate Gambler, is our next house. Hopefully it's walk-on like the last one. Alright, Ultimate Gambler. Or ultimate gamble. was pretty good uh what was it called something gamble anyway i liked it um i still think the the retreat one is my favorite <laughs> all right so you come out of ultimate gamble and you go straight into delirium haunted house delirium 666 this is good. Right? So, you don't know what to order. It's like a two for one. In our underwater facility, there is no Wi Fi service. Okay, so we're at the entrance. This, if you come in the actual gate, this is, you know, where you're at. The Shop of Horrors. They have a bar on the other side. Like this is, uh, this is the way you're supposed to come in. But if you're in the park, we came in the other way. This is, as soon as you come in, this is like the area that you come to. Sacrificial spirit. The lanyard. Yes. So, at the beginning of the night, this place is packed. It's about 9.30 and it's obviously not. Because everybody's in the park. This is at the entrance. So 
So I got the Raven's blood, but instead of cherry, I'm getting the spicy mango in it. So Rose, Rose lost little boo, but she found him. Or should I call him Steve no, Blumpkin? No, it's, it's little boo. Steve Blumpkin is what they named him earlier. place to just like kind of chill and get a drink with no line I would come to the sacrificial spirits um, bar when you first come in it's gonna be busy as hell not gonna lie it was last year I'm sure it was this year but now that like the parks open it's kind of out of the way and there is nobody here so the poison apple very delicious better than last year I hope they did last year but it's better than last year is what Rose says and I got the Siren's Blood, but instead of cherry, I got the spicy mango. Yeah, the Siren's Blood is like the Long Island iced tea version. There's like, there is vodka, tequila, and rum in it. It's very strong, but it's good. I like it. Look at these cute little skulls. <laughs> All right, so as of right now, my order is The Water's Edge is number one for me. And then, I would say Ultimate Gamble. I like that one. And then Farm 51, and then Delirium 666. Farm 51 was the first one we did. You like Delirium better than Farm 51? Yes. No. See, I disagree. Farm 51, I think, had great, uh, great props and everything. And it was longer, like Delirium 666, super short. So that's my order right now. I'm sticking to it. We got one more uh, house to go to, and I will let you know my order when I'm completely done, uh, which one I like the best. Disturbs might say that tonight the calls fail, but for me, I say we have only just begun. I'm Hydra. And Hydra welcomes you all to our shocking and sinister little sword. Don't worry, though. Like Don't be scared. I'm not evil. <laughs> I just have this ominous background music that follows me wherever I go. So we have a couple more houses to go through. Well, we have one more house and a couple more scare zones. We are going to hit 
We're at Sacrificial Spirits. We just watched the show here. And we are going to go to Seats of the Coven, which is at the entrance as you come in. And then we're gonna hit, go up and we're gonna hit a Blood District, a Blood Light District, which is like the vampires. And then we're gonna go to the Carnival Pier, which is the clowns, which everybody hates clowns, let's be honest. And then as we're going, we're gonna hit Cannibal Harbor. And then the last house we need to hit is Atlas, Journey Below. So that's kind of the plan right now. So this is the Seeds of the Coven. And this is like, as you walk in, this is the first thing that you'll come across. So that was Season of Coven that we just went through. We're gonna go to Bloodlight District and then Carn Evil Pier and then Cannibal Harbor, I believe, is the last one. It looks like there's a storm coming in, so hopefully I can hit them all before the night's out. Alright, so this is the Bloodlight District. So here we go, going into the Carnival Pier. This is one of the specialty bars. Do you want something? So this wasn't a very scary scare zone. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody here. I think the... I think the guys left because of the rain. There's no scare actors out right now. And here is the last scare zone I have. Cannibal Harbor. I don't know if they're gonna have anybody out because it is raining right now. Uh, we just went through the carnival and there was nobody there, so let's see if this place has anybody out. Nope, doesn't look like it. So I guess I'll be back tomorrow to try to get Carnival Harbor. Right now we're walking to our last house, which is Atlantis. We're gonna try to hit that one before we head out since it is starting to rain. So due to rain, uh, they took, they pulled the scare zone actors and then the last haunted house I have to go to, it, that's closed too because of the weather. So I think I'm gonna call it. Um, I'm gonna come back tomorrow night and try to hit it. That'll be the first house I hit and uh, try to get the last couple scare, house, scare zones that I haven't been to. But if you made it this far, hey, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, hope you guys have a good night. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.